To date, there's been about a dozen research studies that focus on the question, what happens to student learning when OER, or open educational resources, are substituted for traditional commercial products? And across these dozen studies, what researchers have found multiple times is that across whether it's community colleges, universities, even at the K-12 level, students perform as well or better when using OER than commercial textbooks. So one research project that we engaged in was with a, a group of teachers who decided to switch to OER um, for science textbooks. So they adopted open science textbooks. And we were interested in studying what happened to student learning outcomes uh, when teachers shifted to OER. And so we conducted the research and looked at student learning outcomes based on the, the state standardized tests at the end of the year and actually found to our surprise and delight that there was uh, modest gains in learning for students who, who uh, use the OER resources compared to their peers who are using traditional publisher produced uh, textbooks. In terms of K-12 OER research, uh, one recent study that I've been involved in examined fourth and fifth graders in the state of Washington who used uh, an open educational resource in place of a commercial textbook. We examined in total students at five districts. Students in two of the districts used the open educational resource. Students in three districts used the commercial textbooks. And using some rigorous statistical procedures, kind of filtering out for a variety of factors, we found that there was no statistical difference in how students performed on their end of year state exam when using OER versus commercial textbooks. OER research is a growing field, and um, as the movement has grown, there have been more and more researchers, both from inside the community and outside the community, who have been interested in looking at OER and looking at how OER affects cost savings and equity, uh, equitable access, how it affects um, student learning outcomes, how, it, uh, how it's used, and, and what are the different ways that uh, students interface with this and teachers interface with OER, um, and also how students and teachers perceive OER and the quality compared to other um, other resources.